If you have a dog with mobility issues, this message is for you. I've been trying all things traction for my 12 and a half year old Newfoundland. Um, she's been slipping on surfaces more often. So here we go. So first we tried boots. Um, these were just like a generic one on Amazon. They are a little bit of a tight squeeze for noofs, um, but they work pretty well. These were Bark Bright. They are neoprene and they had more sizes. So they fit her better. These will fit any of my dogs. Um, the downside is they start to smell and you can't leave them on long term. We also tried these little socks. Obviously, I would only recommend for indoors. Um, the only downside is, I mean, same thing. You got to take them off every time they go outside. But I really liked them for Murphy inside. Murphy is my almost 11 year old noof. Call me selfish, but having nine dogs, time is of the essence. Um, I don't have time to put boots on, take them off, put socks on, take them off every time the dogs come inside or outside. So I wanted something a little more long-term. I tried these little sticky pads. Um, there was no way these were going to like perfectly fit their feet. So I cut off each toe bean and applied it individually and then applied this to like the main pad. These worked for a couple days. So I did like them. You'd still have to make sure that the hair is really well trimmed in between the toes, but they were a good like semi long-term solution. And then finally, I tried two different toe grips. This one is the Dr. Busby's. You have to order them on their website. And then this is the Dr. McHenry's. You can get them on Amazon. So I have to say they're the exact same price. Um, honestly, I prefer the Dr. McHenry's because you just put them over the tip of their toe, you glue it on, they stay on longer. Hi, Dunkey. Um, the Dr. Busby's, I feel like there's a lot more room for error because the toe, like it has to just touch the very oh, dunk. So there's only like a very small portion of this that actually touches the ground when you slip it over their toenail. And I just feel like if their toenail isn't the right shape or size to fit it, um, there it, I don't know. I don't feel like she's getting as much traction from the Dr. Busby's as she did from the Dr. McHenry's plus the Dr. McHenry's is not going to fall off. And, um, I don't know. It lasts a really long time. So yeah, I mean, basically they're all good options. It really just depends what fits into your lifestyle, what you have time for um if it's just for outdoors the boots are great um if you need a more long-term thing then i would go with the dr mchenry's